Hi, I'm Jake, and today I'd like to go over Thomas Nelson's The Maxwell Leadership Bible. In this third edition of the Maxwell Leadership Bible, uh, I have a genuine leather, lay flat, new King James Version. So for those of you that are not familiar with the Maxwell Leadership Bible, uh, this one is produced in conjunction with John C. Maxwell. Uh, for those of you who do not know him, he is one of the greatest Christian leadership uh, teachers out there. He does a lot of seminars. He has written a lot of books, uh, including his 21 Qualities style books on um, what it takes to be a leader and how to lead. So leadership and teaching how to lead is well, about as congruent with the Bible as peanut butter and jelly. They just go together. So this particular genuine leather is uh, the standard type of leather that you're going to see on a lot of the newer Thomas Nelson's genuine uh, leathers. It's very durable. It's kind of kind of got a good thick feel to it. Uh, constructions wise, this Bible was uh, pretty decent, really good. Uh, it's got the nice headband, the tail band. Uh, it does have their nice uh, three and an eighth inch ribbons. It includes the two ribbons. But uh, let's uh, read off on the back of the box so I get all the features in here okay so we have the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership which are in-depth articles that reveal these laws as seen in the lives of bible people we have the 21 indispensable qualities of a leader insightful articles showing positive and negative examples of these qualities over 100 biographical profiles that's uh, going to include times and events in people's lives that reveal God's truth about leadership. Introductions to the books of the Bible outlining God's role in the lives of influential men and women. Hundreds of compelling short articles and expressive read-as-you-go notes on mentoring and influence. And a thorough topical indexes for quick access to scripture passages and articles addressing leadership issues. So, uh, this is jam-packed. Now, this does have the comfort print. And for those of you that are interested in what's on the back, oh, I think that's a little blurry, but, well, go look it up in the bookstore. You can see everything that's on there. Um, nice clamshell box. I do like the clamshell boxes. And uh, for reference, I've actually been enjoying the Maxwell Leadership Bibles for years. This is one of the early editions, and uh, I just like them. I've, I've also had a hardback one that I, I gave away to someone that was interested. Um, so this does have the perimeter stitching. It's got the paste down liner, and uh, let's get right into it. Presentation page. I like the colors that they're using. This it's a really nice bright red. So the only. Third edition. Okay. Let's go over the beginning so you get a note from John Maxwell talking about the Bible. Now, this is in the New King James Version. It's given an introduction from uh, Dr. John C. Maxwell. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, another article God has, call, has already called you to lead. What on earth is God doing? Uh, some charts. The preface to the New King James, so I'm looking to the introduction to Genesis. But that's going to show us some cool features to how this Bible is actually going to function. Alright, so here's the introduction. Now, all these introductions, uh, it's, keep in mind that this is not your average study Bible. Uh, this is going to be a, a Bible that you use... Um, not even for a reference. As you go along and you read, uh, and you can pick out uh, basically what, what John Maxwell has done, uh, or what they've done in compiling this, is, is pick out a lot of things where he has found specific qualities and leaders throughout Scripture. And where, where he can expound on certain things where, hey, you know what, this is something good that a leader would do, or this is something that a leader who's not doing things so well would actually be be doing. 
Okay, so first things first, here is Genesis 1 right here. And up at the top, we kind of have a map about what we're going to go through, and it's listed in page numbers. So these are the highlights in Genesis. We're going to talk about communication. We're going to talk about Adam, the first leader to drop the ball. Like I said, leaders doing things that they really shouldn't. Eve, a leader who learned from failure. Noah, a man of righteousness. So let's skip down. Joseph in the law of the process. Leadership develops daily, not in a day. And boy, did Joseph <laughs> learn some hard, hard lessons on his way to, to victory. Uh, Pharaoh, leading with humility. So there is going to be some interesting, uh, interesting characters that you're going to read in Genesis. I mean, you, you've got through the beginning of time, all the all the way from, you know, where where Moses is, you know. Uh, going to start rising up. Uh, you see leaders over and over as they do great things. As with God, they're they're doing fantastic things, but they also like it's like Adam dropped the ball almost immediately. So we learn as as these guys are going through the roller coaster that is their life, uh, certain concepts, and that's what they pull out. So here's one of uh, the breakdowns. So what we have creation, the ultimate leader initiates. And so it just talks about, uh, well, basically uh, going through Genesis 1, 1, and 2 through 25 about the initial creation. And as you can see, they use different colors to, to uh, highlight different things. So we got our chapter heading 2 right there. It is, uh, let me see it. it's kind of a, a golden, uh, not quite brown, yeah, I'd say it's a gold color. And then the headings for the, for the different subjects right through there are going to be blue. So as you go through, you can uh, easily pick out what is what. Uh, okay, so here's the, the big article. And you find these throughout the Bible. So this goes over the 21 qualities. Communication. Adam failed to connect with Eve. And uh, so it's going to be an article pointing out uh, the different ways and breaking down exactly what happened in the breakdown of their relationship uh, most likely referring to oh, Genesis 2.15 through 17 and then 3.1 through 6. Uh, probably uh, their initial fall. Then you have a born to lead. This is specifically talking about, you know, we're born to lead. Take a look at the observations based on Genesis that suggest our God-giving leadership potential. Being made in God's image, yada, yada. God commanded both male and female to have dominion. So this goes over certain concepts, and you'll find fantastic tidbits like this all throughout the Bible. In the Old Testament, in the New Testament, over and over and over. Again, it keeps the theme of the, uh, well, it looks like three different colors on the pages. You have the black letter text, you've got the, the blue headings, and then the, the gold numbers. All right, let's jump to the New Testament. And again... You're going to see a lot of the same types of, of articles. They just pop up over and over and over, helping you break things down uh, from a leadership uh, leadership standpoint. Okay, goes on. It's specifically talking about Peter through here and uh, how he worked in and out of the the Bible. Peter's one of the more interesting character studies because we read. Uh, he was one of the disciples that we read more about than really any of the others. Uh, because he, he was a leader, and he was uh, one that not only was fervent and extremely um, extremely vocal about uh, how he felt about God, and then when the going got tough, when, when Christ uh, was at the most dire time, he dropped the ball. I mean, he dropped the ball when Christ asked him to pray in the garden. And uh, he couldn't stay away with the other disciples. And then again, Christ said that he would be denied by Peter three times, and he was. So Peter's always interesting. So over and over and over, these small articles, just uh, on almost every single page, you're going to find articles and charts and graphs. And like I said, I hesitate to call this a study Bible. Because this isn't so much something that helps you, you know, learn learn more about the Bible, but it learns more about yourself, honestly, and, and how that you can apply what the Bible is saying and apply what is happening it, to the people that are in the Bible 
to your life. And uh, I think that is very, very powerful. And uh, like I said, I've enjoyed the older versions of the Maxwell Study Bible a lot over the years, or over the last couple of years. And uh, yeah, they're, they're just great. Like I said, the ribbons, very decent. I like the ribbons that uh, Thomas Nelson is using. So let's go to the back of the Bible here. So let's get all the way to the ends of Revelation so I can show you some of the cool stuff we have here. Do, do, do. Right, here's Revelation. All right. So leadership laws. This is cool. This is cool. I like this right here. Leadership laws. So what, what does this mean? Well, this is something that, that John Maxwell has actually set up to help you actually learn a little bit better. So the law of the lid, what does that mean? I don't know, but I see here that it talks about Saul and David's success. So you go to 1 Samuel 17, 24 through 40. And it says the main article for each of the 21 laws of leadership is set in bold-faced color type. Uh, the law of influence. And then you've got the, the law of navigation. Over and over, you can see uh, these concepts being listed. Uh, the law of intuition. Uh, the law of the inner circle. Leadership qualities. And uh, these coincide with uh, John Maxwell's uh, books. So then we have the profiles in leadership. It talks about Joshua, Josiah, Korah. Oh, <laughs> I did. I did. It's not the Korah. <laughs> Naomi, Moses, Jehoshaphat. And uh, you can learn about the, the different leaders and what it was that they did and the good things and the bad things that they were able to to do within the biblical context. So then you got some more stuff over here talking about winning with the people. 25 ways to win with people. Keeps on going and going. And where else? Six strategies, strategies for extraordinary leadership. This book, this Bible, is literally chock full of great things. And it is it's really hard to explain without going through and just showing you point by point how powerful the message is and how powerful uh, these helps throughout the, the Maxwell Leadership Bible actually are. This is something I've used a lot when preparing lessons uh, because I believe that the Bible shows us that uh, under the God-given authority that we have as Christians, and many of you watching this channel are going to be ministers, pastors, or you know leaders within your church, that we can take what we see in the Bible and we can take the examples that we see and over and over the strength of a good leader uh, means that you're going to find strength in the people that he leads. And when you see failure within a leader, uh, you're going to see failure within the people. Just look at what happened in um, the, the book of uh, Kings and Chronicles, First Saint Kings, First and Second Chronicles, where when the nation of Israel had a good leader, Things were going good, but yet when a bad leader would come in, uh, things would, would go downhill pretty quickly. Or a good leader would have a, a son that was also a, a mediocre leader. And because that mediocre leader wasn't capable of doing all of the good that God required, then the people started to suffer and God said, hey, you know what, enough of this. I'm taking the kingship from you and your family. And that happened over and over and over again. So I believe strongly and having strong, biblically grounded leaders that aren't afraid to really get the job done. And that's what you see throughout the Bible. You see people that have success who are strong leaders. And then you see people that, well, struggle when, when they aren't you know, doing what it is that they're supposed to do. Maxwell Leadership Bible. I love this as a tool. It's a useful tool. It's a great value. You get a lot of bang for your buck when you're going with the Thomas Nelson, especially the general, uh, genuine leather. I like the way these Bibles are, are made. I like the way they feel. It's a nice, sturdy, stiff cover, and it should last you for a long time. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked this video. Definitely tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your family, tell your cousins. Let them know I'm here. And uh, 
check www.jakenosbibles.com. I'll have quite a few Bible reviews and features on there, as well as some lessons and some other tidbits that I think that you'll enjoy. Bye.